Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Obaji. Today we're considering um, the anointing of the Spirit of God. The anointing of the Spirit of God. What is the anointing of the Spirit of God? The anointing of the Spirit of God is that tangible materiality of His power that is released to accomplish the will of God. That, that's the anointing. The anointing is the substance of God's uh, power, the substance of God's uh, person, the substance of God's glory that is released to accomplish the will of God. That's what the anointing is. Praise the Lord. You remember in Acts of the Apostles chapter 10 and verse 38, it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. What, what did he do? With that anointing, he says he went about doing good, not what he says, healing all those that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Again, in Luke chapter 4 and verse 18, he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. So you see, the anointing is God's power to accomplish the will of God. And that anointing is, is, is a tangible substance. That means it can flow. It can be contacted from one person to another. It can be transferred from one person to another. And the reason it, it is so is because it is a tangible materiality. Glory to God. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 6 and verse 19 that the people pressed on Jesus and sought to touch his clothes for virtue came out of him and healed them all. Glory to God. See that anointing can move or be transferred from one person to another. You remember how that um, Paul the Apostle reminded Timothy son in the faith in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 6 he says to stir up the gift of God that is in him through the laying on of his of hands that means when paul laid hands on timothy there was an impartation of the gift of god hallelujah that anointing was transmitted to timothy again in acts 19 and verse 11 the bible says god wrought special miracles through the hands of paul that um, handkerchiefs or aprons taken from his body healed the sick and cast out devils that was the transfer of the tangible power of God to do the will of God, to meet the needs of people, establishing the will of God in their lives. And that's what the anointing is. And beloved, I announce to you today that that anointing is flowing right now. The power of God is reaching you right now. Whatever the need is, you can lay a demand on the anointing right now. The same way the woman with the issue of blood in Mark chapter 5 laid a demand on that anointing that was upon Jesus. She said in her heart, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She pressed through the crowd and touched the hem of Jesus' garment. And the Bible tells us that immediately she felt in her body that the issue of blood had dried up. And Jesus, knowing himself that virtue had gone out of him, said, who touched me? And she turned around and confessed everything that had happened. And Jesus said, daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. By faith, today you can lay demand on the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit and your needs are met right now. I see a young man, one of your eyes um, can't see very well. The Lord is touching you right now, healing you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see a young lady with, you know, have difficulty in breathing, a pain in the chest. The power of God is making you whole right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see miracles happening right now. Glory to God. Whatever the need is, lay demand. I see a young man believing God for a job this very week. This is your week in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that answer. Receive that expectation in the name of the Lord Jesus. The anointing is working. The tangible material power of God accomplishing the will of God in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believe you're blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. Whether or not God is doing it consciously, it makes no difference. Whatever he has said in his word, that is what he will do. And if you believe God's word and act in line with God's word, you will receive what the word of God says you will receive. <music>